What is your... What's up, you guys? It's Ermite. She's back with another video for you guys. I'm not filming on an iPhone this time. Yes, yes, that's what I use to film my videos and stuff, but today is something different. Alan actually let me borrow his camera so I could film something for you guys with better quality, obviously. So, yes. This is gonna be another sit down video. Um, I did a video like this previously, but as you can see, the setup wasn't the greatest, the quality wasn't the greatest, but you know what? I tried at least, all right? I got something for you guys. What I'm gonna be filming for you guys is a little chit chat, get ready with me. Yes, I've done one of these videos before. Talking to you guys about a little situation that happened to me in Tijuana. Yes, yes, Tijuana. I've mentioned this in my previous two videos at the end of it, if y'all watched it, um that a little something happened so if you guys really want to watch me just you know do my makeup and you know hear what happened then go for it shit also i want to mention i am not a makeup you know person i don't consider myself one who knows how to do makeup and stuff so this is just what i come up and if i think it looks good then shit it looks good whatever so yeah that's what i'm gonna be filming for you guys so um stay tuned <laughs> well, i'm not really gonna be explaining what i'm gonna be doing with my face i'm just gonna go along with whatever i come up with and yeah so you guys are just gonna be hearing me talk about it and just see how um this face turns into a beat ass bitch Let's just start off by Tijuana. It was still a fun visit. I really did enjoy it. I'm obviously still going to go back and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's how, like, I guess serious the situation was. Um, not serious, but... But y'all get it once I fucking tell you guys the story and I get to the point. So, yeah, so Tijuana was still fun and everything. But it was just one little situation that happened, which I really did not expect to happen at all. You know, like, it was still basically, like, almost like sunset almost daylight still so I, it just caught me so off guard when um basically everything happened so it started off with me and my friend you know we went and we were on the street i got i guess it was called revolucion i think that's what the street was called you know she tells me she's like yeah she said that you know it's pretty common for you know prostitution and like you know having girls in the club and like you know them being sold well basically sex trafficked and still doing like clubbing kind of thing i can't really confirm on that i don't really want to say much because people get offended or whatever anyways literally me and my friend we were just walking down this freaking street like anybody else you know we were i guess considered tourists or visitors whatever people want to consider us it was really nice you know we saw a lot of like cool people like performing out in the freaking streets and shit there was actually a lot of freaking like people well girls with their quinceanera they were in limos and hummers freaking shouting and screaming and celebrating and i was like oh shit that's what's up what the fuck they were out of the roofs like just you know like having a party having a blast and i was like fuck sick ass fools you know we were just minding our own business there was a lot of really beautiful art out there too like i took some pictures over there and i don't know if you guys saw on my pants <laughs> on my instagram go like <laughs> until i noticed there was this guy that was following us for a good minute and i was like okay like he's probably just like looking around and seeing what there is and stuff whatever just didn't think much of it but yeah so i kept on turning and seeing if he was still following us, and, and he kind of was until me and my friend we went into a bar that we decided to go to and you know he didn't follow us from there so i was like oh, okay he was just like freaking walking around and shit so i didn't think much of it we were there for a good while and shit we were chilling or whatever and um we decided to leave because it was getting late well not late it wasn't getting late but you know we still wanted to go eat at some other um veg um vegan restaurant and um we wanted to make sure that we get to at least taste one last restaurant because the first one that we went to we got well 
I got really full, you know, because I over fucking ate like a fucking animal. We left the bar and we went to this liquor store because I wanted to try to find those hot Cheetos that I've been craving. And, you know, I was debating. I was like, oh, we'll get them later. We'll get them later when we're like in about to cross because uh, we're about to go eat. And I know myself, I'm going to want to eat the chips while on the way to the fucking restaurant. And I'll get too full and I wouldn't be able to eat acostumbrada. So, yeah. But regardless, that's when my phone basically died. And I was like, fuck, you know what? I need a fucking charger. Hey, dude, do you have an extra charger? That's what I asked my friend. And she was like, you know what? I'm not quite sure. You go check in the car real quick while I stay here because she was still looking for some stuff that she wanted to take over back over here in America. I guess. Um, we didn't park far at all. So we ended up, um, well, I ended up going to her car real quick. It literally was not far at all. It was down the fucking street. So... Well, not down the street, but across the street. So I was like, okay, cool. She gave me her keys or whatever. And so I was just skedaddling on to my friend's house, uh, my friend's house, to the structure and shit. Well, it was kind of like a parking lot. Yeah, it is a parking lot. I just had to go up the stairs and shit. It was at a freaking grocery store that we parked at, like a super something. I don't know. It was some indoor grocery store. It was fucking huge. So, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. So, I didn't really do much. I just put, like, a light blue and, like, a green man and, like, a darker shade outside. And then I hear somebody say, Oiga, disculpa, señorita, ¿me puedo ayudar, por favor? And I was like, um, okay. So, I turned around. I was like, oh, yeah, what's up? And guess who the fuck it is? It's the fucking guy that was following me and my friend earlier that day. And I was like... Oh shit, this is really weird. Like this is like literally like really fucking weird. Like, you know, at first I saw him following us um, in the beginning when we were walking down that street or whatever. And then we saw him at the fucking store and then all of a sudden he's here at the parking lot where my friend parked. So I was like, okay, whatever. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Like, what do you need help with? And he was like, oh, um, I was wondering if you could help me out and find directions to this spot. I'm trying to find my friends, you know? And I was like, oh, well, I'm not quite familiar with the area, but what spot are you talking about? You know what I mean? To try my best to figure out where he needs to go. So that's what I feel like I fucked up on. Like, I'm not familiar with the area, but whatever's shit. I guess he was talking about like a grocery store or a tiendita, and I was like, well, the grocery store is like right here. And I guess he was just trying to find the front of it. I don't know what. And he and I was like, well, I guess he just goes straight down where you go pay and you go on the street. And I think you would be there. So I don't think it's that difficult to get there. Obviously, that's what I was telling him in Spanish. So he was like, oh, what do you mean? Like, donde, donde? Like, me puedes enseñar, por favor? And I was like, oh, well. Um, it's just literally like right there. Like I don't really need to show you where like um, you could go Yourself, sir, you know, and he literally kept on insisting and insisting and insisting and I was like, okay This is getting like really fucking weird like so I was like, oh, I really don't know sir Like it's literally like right there Like you could just go check yourself or ask somebody else because I'm not right. I'm not quite sure And I was I was getting pretty heated and kind of like concerned at that point really it got to the point where he started getting like touchy with me and that's why i was like oh hell no like this is getting way too fucking far he was literally grabbing my arm and telling me like oh come on come on like show me show me please like i need to get there like you know like i want to give you something after um for showing me you know for your kindness and stuff and i was like this fool what the fuck my kindness bitch nah psych I always have my pepper spray with me and shit, but in this case, lucky me, my pepper spray was in my fucking friend's bag. And I was like, fuck, like, what the fuck can I do at this point? You know, I was low-key getting scared at this point because literally it started getting to the point where I was going like this. And I was like, dude, like, what the fuck? Leave me the fuck alone. And I was telling him, I'm like, hey, you know what? Like, leave me alone, like, right now. Like, just got started getting, like very aggressive and shit and out and i was just panicking at that point i don't know what to do i was like what the fuck is going on and i guess low-key i was gone for a good minute 
that guess who decides to pop the fuck up? My fucking friend to the fucking rescue, thanks to fucking her. If she wasn't there, who knows? what the fuck could have happened at that point with that guy. She asked him, he was like, hey, you know, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, you know? Cause obviously you saw the situation and he literally was just fucking speechless. At that point, like he fucking let go and literally he started backing up and was just trying to fucking make up some fucking situation, trying to make up whatever he was trying to fucking say. He literally just ran off. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, literally, what the fuck? I turned to my friend, I'm like, bitch. Like, thank goodness you came through because this is literally, a, this was fucking crazy. Like, I literally, I honestly, I never expected anything like that would happen to me. You know, honestly, like, it was just so shocking. And so, you know what? My friend was like, you know what? Um, I got you the charger regardless because I, I remembered that I didn't have one. Let's get in the car, charge your phone, let's go. But before we went, I actually just wanted to let my phone charge a bit because the place wasn't so far away from where we were at. So by the time that we were got there, like my phone literally wouldn't even be like on at all. So we were there just chilling for a bit and shit. I was just explaining to her the situation of what the fuck happened. Like um, this happened and all this stuff. And she was like, what the fuck? Like, that's fucking crazy. Like, why didn't you fucking tell me that he was from earlier when he we were in the store? Like, I would have fucking done something. I would have basically gone with you at the end. And I was like, dude, I don't know. I wasn't fucking thinking. Like, I literally did not think much of it. There were so many little red flags flashing and shit, but I didn't think anything of it. You know, I just thought it was just a fucking guy, you know, trying to get around and shit. That's really it, you know? Really just trying to process, like, literally what the fuck happen like it's crazy right like what the fuck the unexpected happened like if anything like my life could flush in a minute like nobody would be able to find me nobody would have figured out what the fuck happened to me my mom would have been like oh girl like i don't even want to fucking like say shit because mm -mm. if she literally figures out about this story or if i like any of that sort she would literally be like you are never going over there again bitch like no, no, no. Damn. I did not realize I look this much like a ghost. Um, I got a new foundation, guys, and I think it is a little too light for me. As you can see. Oh, shit. Oh, well, we'll fix it with some bronzer or some shit, but yikes. I always thought it was pretty pale. I guess I got a bit more tanner, so yeah, yikes. I started checking my surroundings and shit just to make sure, you know, he was gone and stuff while we were waiting in the car to fucking, like, charge our phone and shit. At this point, thinking about it, I'm like, why the fuck did we even fucking stay there in the first place? We should have just dipped and waited over there at the fucking restaurant. Como mensas. We didn't fucking think, you know? And my friend, she was like, what the fuck? Where was your pepper spray? Like, I'm like, bitch, check your fucking bag. She checks her bag boom it's right fucking in there and she was like fuck man like if i didn't come like my friend was saying like if she didn't come through like who knows what could have fucking happened to me at this point like literally it was just a situation that was just so fucking scary um something that i would not expect at all especially to me and stuff so yeah like everybody be careful out there because bitch it could happen to anybody and i mean anybody you know like it's not only in tijuana that it happens literally it's um it's everywhere literally if anything it's probably the worst it's worse here in fucking um america and fucking u.s and shit you know like this whole situation that's going on with the u.s with you know immigration sex trafficking like and all that fucking shit it's just fucking crazy man like it's so <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it because I could rant on it all day. But you know what? All we could do at this point is just be careful with our surroundings. Always be aware and always have something with you. Taser, pepper spray, anything, you know? Well, not anything. A knife. Fuck it. Machete. <laughs> but yeah, so the charger ended up working. I honestly wouldn't expect the charger to work because 
I usually try to get um my my charger is the same brand as the phone obviously you know apple with apple products and stuff i don't know that's what's recommended and suggested so your like items won't go bad or i don't know what that's what i've been told y'all i feel like i'm having like a james charles moment low-key like what the fuck i low-key look way too pale <gasps> this is a fail <laughs> So I was just finish off, finishing off my face and stuff. I added a little bit of glitter in the inner corner with a little star, some more glitter on the lid. And I think I'm gonna have some glitter running down my like cheeks and stuff, but we'll see how I feel. Once my phone basically turned on, that's when we were like, okay, cool. Once we, so we were leaving the parking lot, you know, I was kind of being aware of my surroundings seeing if maybe I saw the guy somewhere or something, you know. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, should we report this? Or like, you know, what the fuck should we do at this point? And you know what, my friend was like, you know what, like there isn't really much that we could do. The guy ran off, he's like nowhere to be found at this point. Um, and even if we try to get the police involved, you know, it's um, situations like that are handled differently between um, here in the US and over there. So yeah there wasn't really much that we could have done on our end which sucks you know so we were driving off and stuff gonna go to our next location um to go eat and shit but guess fucking what else happened <laughs> guess who i see as we were driving down the street <laughs> guess um, guess it was the fucking guy that was basically fucking attacking me y'all Ooh. Ooh, I was like shook. I was heated because guess the fuck what too? He wasn't alone. He was literally with two other fucking guys, older fucking guys. I forgot to mention, yeah, he was a pretty fucking older man. He was probably like in his 40s, 50s, you know? But yeah, so I probably look a bit crazy and stuff, but here. And guess what? with literally four other freaking chicks i don't mean like oh but then such as amigos you know what i mean no like this is literally like girls dressed up as hoochies like if they were getting like you know like prostituted i guess you could say and literally my heart fucking dropped like literally if my friend didn't come through i would have been in that fucking sticky ass situation and that would have been like just horrible it's just horrible you know like i literally have no words to describe like the fucking feeling that i felt when i freaking witnessed that because literally it really shattered my heart knowing that those chicks are doing what you know they don't want to do um that are forced to do and honestly at this point you can't really do much as a person you know like even if you try to get involved with that kind of stuff it's a pretty da dangerous situation and you know it's tijuana they deal with stuff differently and stuff and um you know like my friend was saying you know like hey like we can't really do much of it like you know we're just gonna have to like get the fuck out of here at this point. i'm gonna go finish this off and i will be right back so yeah guys that is literally what happened to me in tijuana all we did is just you know leave and do what we had to do you know like went to the restaurant like <sighs> that just thinking about like the whole situation that happened like literally it's kind of crazy you know like I did not expect any of that kind of sort to, of thing to happen to me especially so you know what like all I could say here is really be careful out there you don't know what really people's intentions are and just be prepared you know have your pepper spray with you as I said have your fucking taser like you know have your keys with your um in between your fingers and stuff as a fist when you're walking to your car like day night morning no matter what time of the day like always be aware of your fucking surroundings because literally you never know what could freaking happen to you like in this case with me happens anywhere anywhere in the world this could happen to anybody there's already people in general going missing like every freaking day so you know like 
you just have to be very careful with your surroundings and you know what like if something does happen like don't do what I did just stay stuck and quiet and be like oh my gosh like literally just scream for your fucking life because honestly like one person will be able to hear you out and help you out like in this case I got fucking lucky with my friend you know arriving oh that was my story that happened in Tijuana. Hopefully nothing like this happens to you guys as well. I know I didn't really talk much about like my makeup and stuff, but this is the outcome of it as you guys can see. See, wow, oh my God, I'm so pretty. Oh, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. But yeah, so, you know, these are the lashes. It's lifting a little bit there. These lashes are being a little tricky with me. You know, my makeup, it's blue. I added some, you know, like glitter and like, um, blue dust kind of thing and just a simple pink nude lip you know i still look a little probably pale but i'm gonna have to end up finding a new foundation so hope you guys really enjoyed this video um i hope i get to give you guys more content like this with better quality and stuff but other than that i'm still gonna be filming on my iphone and stuff so hopefully this will become something more um often that I would do for you guys so I honestly did really enjoy doing my makeup though like I really love this look that I did you know something definitely that I would wear if I'm going out so let's figure out and see what I end up doing tonight uh, I'm probably just gonna take some pictures upload it on Instagram and yeah so um that is it for this video go right ahead and like comment subscribe so go right ahead and comment mm, let's see comment anything you want i'm gonna be replying to your guys's comments down there so go right ahead and show me some love i'll show y'all some love back because i love you guys Mwah! so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys for the next one deuces wow oh my gosh my hair is literally still not situated but whatever's